Welcome to my tutorial. Finally, somebody has sent in a request for an episode that I can actually devote an entire episode to. This is actually going to end up being a follow-up on something that I've already done. Ejecting a CD from a Mac using the terminal. Only this time, it's not just about the CD. You can use this method to eject just about any device or possibly even any image from your Mac. This episode comes from the request of my viewer, Mortis De Beer. In short, he is having problems ejecting his external hard drive from his Mac. This is because that there is no icon to eject from in the Finder. At first, I thought this was going to be a hard problem to solve, because although the computer is still running processes from the device, how can you deal with something that you can't see? To show you that this process works on other devices besides the CD, I'm going to use this flash drive. This is a Velderbin uh, USB flash drive, 1 gigabyte. And I'm going to plug it into my computer and use my process to eject this safely from my Mac. So now, as you can see, my USB drive, labeled as Public Zone, is now on my desktop. As before, in order to eject it, I'm going to go through the terminal. To access the terminal, go to open a new Finder window, click on the Applications folder, scroll all the way down to the bottom, open the Utilities folder, Scroll to the bottom again, and access the terminal. Okay, really all that I've just done right now is I've moved everything to the side to make sure our public zone icon is visible. For those people such as the beer, this icon will not be visible on your desktop nor in your finder. So the first thing that we want to do, we want to make sure that we actually know the name of the device that we want to eject. In order to do so, in the terminal, type in df and press return. Terminal will throw back a list at, at you, displaying all the devices and processes that are currently on your Mac. Notice on the bottom of our list is our public zone device, my USB drive which is what we want to unmount and eject. So in order to, un to do this safely, we are going to type in HDIUTIL space eject space dash force space and then whatever is under mounted on, under this column right here. So we have this that we need to type in. This Note that this is not case sensitive, but also don't put in any extra spaces or don't neglect any spaces. So after you type in force, make sure you have one space, then type in dash volumes dash public zone. Once you're done and make sure that everything is spelled correctly, press return. And once I do that, notice the icon over here. It goes away, and it even tells me that disk 2, which is our public zone, has been unmounted and then has been ejected. And now it can be safely removed from my computer. I think that this process is far superior to the one that I showed you guys before. Not only does this unmount and eject uh, any device that you want, but it also shows you other devices that are eating up the performance of your Mac. I hope this episode was useful to everybody, and I look forward to continuing to help other people with their requests. Keep sending them in to srz2 at me.com. See you later.